everyone, it's Nay. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, so, back in about March, um, Australia was going a bit weird. Um, there was lots of hoarding going on. Um, but at the same time, a lot of people were revisiting their priorities. And I sort of wanted to do a project in the spirit of that. And I... The cause of the hoarding and the craziness was, of course, the COVID that we've had at, in the world. Um, and as someone who works sort of in a healthcare environment, but not really on the front line, but has been involved in a lot of the preparation, um, Things felt like they were getting a bit crazy and this was kind of my way of, I guess, dealing with that. Um, but also making some changes in my life um, because I am a bit of a hoarder. Um, it's pretty much out of control. But I decided to do a project that was sort of focused on getting rid of a lot of things that I had little bits sitting around on. So originally I was going to do this and video it and time kind of got away from me and I thought the whole idea of this was going to be a short term project so if I didn't do something quickly they were all going to be gone and it was going to be a waste of time. So I just took a few photos and put them up on Instagram. So until now it's been sort of an Instagram only project which actually kind of worked in with the name because I ended up calling it the Novid 19. Um, I guess when the disease first was around and people were talking about the Novovirus um, and the Novid and Covid um, I kept thinking November so I thought short term project ending in November to get rid of some of the stuff that's just got tiny bits. So anyway, um, so I guess this is more an empties project as much as anything. Um, so I just thought I'd go through, I picked 19 products that I thought I could finish um, and the idea was going to finish in November, so November the 19th, um, because I kept getting confused when I heard about it and I kept the thing that kept coming into my mind was November so yeah so I've got 19 things that I'm hoping to get finished um, in, and get them all finished in about the next three weeks um, and I just wanted to talk about I guess the things that I've managed to get out of my house in the last six months that have been hanging around for God knows how long um, so the first thing I've got is this Garnier Oily Roots, sorry, Dry Ends Oily Roots Conditioner. Um, it started at 55.52 grams. Um, it's not quite empty, but it's so very close. Um, it's down to here. It's it's down to the point where you got to bang it and squeeze it and squeeze it to get any out. So it's not done yet but I've got a good feeling that it should be done if not in the next couple of weeks certainly by the end of the year so that's one that is so close to being out of my collection it's not funny um, the next thing I had was a Schwartz cough conditioner and it's the silk conditioner liquid silk conditioner as you can see by the packaging this stuff is all very old um, and that one's done so that's one thing out, one thing that's just about out. Uh, the next thing was a 9,300 miles shower jelly from Lush. Now this was just in a little thing and I think it was in just a black tub, like a Lush black tub that I had it sitting in, just one of the little ones. Um, because the Australian version I had of it was very crumbly, so I melted it down into muffin tins um, so it was basically sort of muffin tin size and about that thick. So that's now out of my collection as well. I also had some samples from Lush 
and I'm notorious for getting samples from Lush and never touching them. So I actually have two. I had uh, Scrub 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 and Magic Crystals, which was their two newest shower scrubs were at the time. Um, so these are both empty now. So things that we usually have just set around in my house that I never would have got around to using, they're gone. So that's three, four things. Yeah, four things that I reached my goal on. Um, next was an Isle of Eden scrub, an encrypted bouquet. I don't know if anybody in YouTube land knows Isle of Eden, um, but these were big back when there was an Australian Lush forum and people were trading them. Um, awesome, awesome products. I believe their downfall was their customer service and their bad business practices in that they would get inundated with orders, they'd get a backlog, they'd get everyone upset, so they'd do a sale, so they'd get all this backlog of orders, get everybody upset. Um, so yeah, I think, I believe that they no longer exist. I've probably had this around for 10 years and now it's gone. So I had it, not have, I had an original um, weight of 40.97 grams. I can't remember exactly how much was in it, but I'm thinking it was probably somewhere around about there. And it's done. So it's it's something that's out of my collection that should have been out of my collection a long time ago. Uh, next one was Wash Day Greens from Lush. Uh, this one was a something that I got off a retro, I think. I think it started off as being retro. I think I bought a 100ml bottle when they cleared out their retro. Then they came back with uh, the original kitchen, where they were doing half a dozen things. Well, I think it's day. Well, yeah. Um, so that at least... You knew what you were getting. Um, so this one was made in 2014. That's how long it's been hanging around my house for. Um, so that's about six years. So that one's now gone. I do have another one of these from the same batch. Um, but I've got a few hundred mil Lush shower gels that are older that I'm trying to work through at the moment. So that's what's on the go at the moment. Uh, the next thing is a decant of a forum shower gel from Lush. As you can see, it's not quite done, but God, it's close. Um, so this one started out at 24.06 grams. Um, I forgot to weigh these before I started this, so just hold me one second. Uh, so it's now 23.16 grams. So um, this one I was thinking was is probably more of a summer scent for me. I thought I was probably going to get a start on it a little bit earlier than I have. Pardon me. Um, but yeah, there's not much in there. And it, I'm thinking I can get this done in about the next three weeks. And again, if not the next three weeks, by the end of the year, it should be a goner. Um, so yeah, so far, what am I looking at? I'm looking at one, two, three, Six out of eight. No, no. So that's not too bad. Um, next thing was Bouche de Noël face cleanser, and that was a little decant out of my main tub that I would have taken out to go away um, at some stage last year. Um, so yeah, that one I think got done fairly early in the project. Um, the next thing is the Clinique Gentle Liquid Facial Soap. Jeez. This guy. Um, not quite done, but as you can see by the way it's squeezed, there's not much in there. Um, it's not the this one's quite runny, so if you stir it up that way and you open it, it tends to run. Um, but yeah, there's not much in there. It started off at 16.02 grams, we're now down to 14.39. Um, and I'm thinking that good. Most of that is packaging. Not sure about the next three weeks, but I'm hoping by the end of the year. 
Um, the next is Lush Emperor of Buttercream. Is that right? No, I think that was what it was called. No, it's Emperor of Emperor of Ice Cream Buttercream. I think I've missed a word out there. I reckon it's Emperor of Ice Cream. Um, I finished that out just the other day, and I think they were saying that this was supposed to smell like um, vanilla ice cream, maybe white chocolate. White chocolate, I think, is what they said it was supposed to smell like. Um, it looks like I need to go around and clean that up a bit better. But um, this I bought off the Lush Forum years and years and years ago. Um, probably older than 10 years. Um, hardly ever used it. Didn't particularly like it. Scraped it all into here. Um, out of the container it was in. Because the container disintegrated and it was easier this way. Um, yeah, I sort of used it for the sake of using it, not because I thought it did anything. Um, but yeah, that's, and this is, so yeah, it was in a bigger container. It went into this container to make it easier to use. It's now gone, so that's something else I've had in my collection for a long time that's gone. Um, the next thing is a hand cream. Now this is the Body Shop Peppermint Candy Cane Hand Cream. Now this isn't actually all that old. Um, I can't remember if I got it the Christmas just been, maybe, maybe the one before. Um, and this one was a bit of an outlier, um, lots of hand sanitising going on, dry, cracked hands, um, nice little purse sized container. Um, things have calmed down a lot in Australia at the moment, so there's not the paranoia that there was. Um, I think I've got about three of these because I got them on a deal and I'm not in love with the formula. It goes on quite nicely. It doesn't take too long to sort of sink in but then when you go to wash your hands you feel it, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll use them up but it's not my favourite formula. Um, and yeah, because things calm down a lot in Australia and particularly where I am um, in Adelaide which is uh, the bottom middle of Australia, uh, far away from the craziness that was Melbourne. Um, uh, this, yeah, I can. I don't know if I'll get it done by the end of the year. Don't know. It's probably going to be my one failure, and if it is, then that's fine because this isn't actually really all that old anyway. Um, the next thing is a decant of the Black Pearl Shower Gel from Lush, which was another forum special. Um, this one is got lavender in it, so it tends to be a nighttime one. There's not much in there, not that there was much in there to start with, but yeah, it's not. It, I tend to only use it if I'm showering at night, which is why that one's still hanging around. Um, the next thing is this um, Mad City Soap Cranberry and Yuzu um, Body Scrub. As you can see, it's not quite done. It's probably got one use left in it. Um, yeah, I considered delaying it, this update, but I figure if I don't get around to doing another update, it's probably not a big deal but you can see that again probably one more use um, if it's not done in the next couple of weeks it should be done by the end of the year um, I tend to use this with the yuzu and cocoa shower cream from Lush so I tend to pair those together because they're that sort of similar scent with both got the yuzu in it that sort of citrusy scent um, so as it gets warmer I tend to use those a bit more. Uh, next is the Rehab Shampoo, which I left in the shower because I didn't think it was in here. Um, the Rehab Shampoo is an interesting one. It's a clarifying shampoo. I don't use it all that often. I had my hair cut back a little while ago. Um, so it tends to be one of those things I use more in the summer I think um, 
If I'm, my scalp's sort of feeling congested and oily, then that would be one I tend to go for. Um, probably not going to get that one done by the end of the year, just because it's not an everyday one for me. It was, probably wasn't a good one to put in this project, apart from the fact it is very, very long. Um, the Batwing Shower Jelly uh, is tricky to use. It's just this tiny little piece of the jelly. Um, I actually ended up buying some special soft sponge things from Daiso that I think are designed to use on your face so that I could sort of rub it on something rather than trying to do with this tiny stupid little piece of uh, shower jelly because that one isn't so much crumbly but it tends to tear, it was in a shape um, so it had weak points, it sort of tore apart uh, the next thing I had is the orange buttercream scrub which I think was another old Eden. No, it was another Mad City soap. No, it's buttercream. So that one's gone. Um, yeah, I didn't even record how much it started off at. I don't think it was very much. I think I was using that with my Uluru shower gel predominantly. Sort of the oranges together. Um, so again, something that's been in my collection. Probably not quite 10 years but probably not all that far off either um, yeah. it would have it would have come from lush forum and lush forum hasn't been a thing for years um, okay hello shower gel um, this one's probably another bit of a disappointment one decant out of a bigger bottle so ignore the label that it's in um, yeah again more of a summer scent probably more of an autumn scent actually we haven't really had autumn weather spring sorry spring weather spring autumn and we didn't really have much of either this year we seem to go from very hot to very cold quite quickly and then we seem to be cold or hot at the moment um, yeah, so probably not going to get that one done this year, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah. And the last thing is a body scrub. This one's a villainous one. And this one was really oily. It kind of... Yeah. Um, it's the, the stickiest of all of them. Um... Um, and that one's done as well. So, I mean, all of these scrubs all had silly little bits in them. I've got through them, so I've managed to get um, at least three out in the last six months. With a fourth one very, very close. That's the two samples. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, so of this project, the things I haven't used up, uh, what, six? Two of which should be done, if not by the end of the project, by the end of the year. Possibly that one as well. Um, and three that may or may not be done by the end of the year. One that might, two that probably won't. So that's the 12 things. Got that one. So that's 12 things that have been hanging around in my life for about 10 years that are now out and gone. And yes, I bought some replacements of things, but I'm trying not to buy things for the sake of buying things. Um, a lot of what I've used up is in more of the citrusy type um, family. Um, one was floral, one was um, a bit more of the gourmand. Um, so yeah, I probably bought maybe five new ones this year. Um, but at least now they're all new and I can't see them hanging around for the next 10 years. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.